we never got this out with the suction bug, you know? What's good, YouTube? Today I'm taking delivery of my neonatal nose suction from uh, breedershacks.com. Uh, super stand-up guy hit me up on the phone, let me know my packages will be there the next day. 2.30, packages arrive. But anyway, let's get to the video. We're going to um, go ahead and unbox this and just give an honest review on it. I haven't seen really too many people actually use it on a pup, so... We have one, our smallest pup is aspirated. So we're gonna try this out and uh comes in a box. Comes in a box like this. We're gonna try this out, man. Let's see how it actually works and just give our honest opinion on it. I'm remind y'all I'm not sponsored by them or affiliated them with any way. Uh, I'm just an honest guy giving my honest review on the product. I seen a couple other people on YouTube, they recommended it. Um, so I went ahead and took the chance, man. I always like to cut stuff on. Even before I hook it up, let's make sure it works. If it's not cutting on, it's going right back in the pack. All right, so let me get this hooked up and uh, we're gonna catch y'all back on the next scene. We're gonna get a little Astro out because he's really congested. All right, real quick, let me show y'all how to uh, set this up right here. Alright, your collection bottle, if you look at the top of it, you probably can't see it on the camera. But it's a line that says patient and a line that says vacuum, right? So this right here is your connection tube. You have a clear white plastic piece on there. All you want to do is press that firmly onto the collection bottle. Take this clear piece. You want to slide it firmly right onto this. Make sure it goes all the way up. Then you have your suction tube. And you want to plug that into the top part that says patient. Because, you know, your puppy's going to be your patient. So you have this end. Plug it right into there. Make sure you push it all the way up. You don't want to have mucus flying all over your face and floor, couch and everything else. Wow. You ready to go. Make sure you clean this right here off. Uh, me personally, I'm wiping the whole thing down. Uh, Lysol, alcohol. I'm use alcohol for this end. Wipe everything else down. And then we're gonna try it out, man. Let's see how it works. All right, y'all, so we got it plugged up. We got everything hooked up. So now we're gonna see, let's see how it works. Check it for leaks, make sure no leaks. There's a little bit of air coming from right here. And it's tighten up the toes a little bit. There's nothing in the box that says what pressure they would recommend for a puppy. So what I do is, man, I'll hit up Breeders Hacks, man, uh, shoot him a call, see what he thinks about the pressure for a young puppy. And um, I add that information. If you're interested in purchasing this, the link will be in the description. Uh, don't go nowhere though, stay tuned because we're about to get a puppy out and we're going to try this thing live and see if we can actually get some mucus out. Matter of fact, let's call him up now, man, see if we can get him. He don't, he don't know we're doing this live, but let's call him up, see if we can get him on the phone. See him right here. Hello? Yeah, uh, this is Wes from Purple Heart Kennels. How you doing today, man? Hey, how you doing? 
I'm doing good, man. I got your uh, neonatal nose suction in the mail today. And, uh, just open it up. Everything's looking good. I'm actually doing a review right now on it. And I just wanted to know what pressure settings do you recommend, uh, you know, for a newborn puppy to put this thing on? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, you cut out at the end. I said, what uh, pressure settings do you recommend putting this on for a newborn puppy? A newborn puppy, I always start, like, so what's nice about the machine is, you obviously, you can set it. So I always start at kind of, like, especially, like, certain people have their preferred setting, obviously. You know? Right. Um, someone newer is going to not want to kind of push the machine as further as someone who kind of has their already, already has the comfortability. So what I would say is generally rule of thumb is start off on the lowest setting. And then, you know, you can work your way up if you feel like it's not suctioning enough. Okay. Right, I just want to make sure, you know, the puppy's lungs weren't going to collapse or something. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Okay, man. Well, appreciate you calling, man. Thank you for calling. 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 You, you haven't used it yet, though, right? No, nah, I just got it hooked up, and I'm actually about to grab a puppy now and use it. Okay, okay. The first time, the first time setting it up can get like a, it can be a little confusing, but for the most part, um, once you get it going, I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory. The only other thing that I would say is, um, I've had people actually recently contact me saying some people prefer, you know, the 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 retrofitted the retrofitted syringe that we 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 put on the hose in. Right. And then I've had some people say that they just take that off and actually just put that over the the entire nose of the puppy and try to do like a little vortex. So I mean, it, and again, it, it, it's one of those things you are kind of fixed, But what I've always used is a small one syringe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I'll start off with the syringe, and then I'll try the other one out too, just to see how it works. Yeah, you see what, what you prefer, you know? But, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, everybody so far, you know, um, like I said, they, 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 they love the machine. And, yeah, I, love, I can't wait to see your review. Definitely, you know, send it our way, and, and, and you know, we'll shout it out. All right, appreciate you, man. All right, No problem, man. All right, take care. All right, all right, you too. All right, like I said, excellent customer service. So, we're going to grab a puppy, man. Let's see how this thing works. What's up, buddy? Alright y'all, this is little Astro. He just opened up his eyes yesterday. Uh, he's been doing a lot better, really congested. The bulb was just not working. So we're going to set this on the lowest set and we're going to work our way up. And then we're going to see just if, you know, just to see how much better this is than the actual bulb. Because I feel like I was getting off the right and squeezing that bulb for 10, 15 minutes straight on the aspirator. Alright y'all. Hope y'all can see this good. This is already collected. Use is already. Kind of see it. Already collected music, man. I got it down low. Like you said, I don't want to put it up too high. Yeah, boy. Really love this little fella, man. We spend a lot of time on it. Like I said, that was at the lowest setting. Um, and we collected mucus right from the jump, man. And he sounds so much better that I almost don't know if I'm going to even give him his breathing. I might give him half his breathing treatment. Wow. Honest review, man. I get this product a 10 out of 10. If you breathe... Bullies, French Bulldogs, whatever. Please, please, please. Spend the money. Get you one of these. Shout outs to my breeders hat. Link in the description, man, if you're interested. Like I said, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm just an honest guy giving honest reviews.
He's breathing so much more. He's breathing so much better. Look at him. He's sleeping. But you can see his mouth is a little bit open, man. So we still gonna we're gonna work with him a little bit more. But I just wanted to leave a quick review, man. And uh appreciate the customer service, man. Definitely, definitely, definitely a cop.